game is live, so... So if you log in 10 days, you get a special avatar. That's pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of players here. And I, don't, you can, I don't think you can PvP here, but as you get further out, you can PvP. And this is, yeah, this is just an eastern landing, it's a safe spot. Safe spot. Um, so press N to open this skill tree, M opens the map. Um, I'm just trying to get away from the whole rush of players. Not sure how I zoom out from here though. I can't right click to like zoom out. And if the if the sound is bad, then let me know. And ah, if the sound is imbalanced, like you can hardly hear me, or if the game's blaring, or if I'm way too loud, you can't hear the game. Let me know. And I'll fix it. I'm not really sure. Or if it's echoing or anything, just let me know. Wait a minute, I could grab my horse right now, but then I might lose it. So like, I'm ca I'm a noob here, so I kind of want to use my founder's horse, but I don't because I lose it until the next test. If someone kills me, I mean, I don't know how far out I can go before. I mean, you can do quests, work orders. I guess there are some form of quests. Um, wait, wait, what do I have to do? Craft? Oh, I don't have any materials. I can't craft. Oh, and I have, looks like I have limited time to do it as well. Oh, then. Oh, and you can cut down everything. You can, you know, cut down trees or wood. You know, take this for stone. Apparently I can't cut that tree. I don't have the best axe. So you gotta craft yourself better equipment if you wanna gather certain things. And also more, like, Rare materials, more valuable materials, you have to go further out where there's actually more PvP. So, it's pretty interesting. Um, it's very point and click, which makes it well optimized for tablet gameplay. Because when this does launch, it's going to be on a variety of platforms, such as iOS and Android. Uh, I'm trying to get some materials together so that. I can make myself better equipment. Um, I could use my mount, and this might make it quicker and easier, but I kind of want to play it as if I'm, as if I'm brand new, because a lot of you, you know, might wait for the launch, or you might not get the more expensive Founders Pack that you need to get into the Alpha Head Start. So, I'm going to be saving... I'm, I'm going to be trying to, you know, make it harder so that I can show you can get by without it. I might, I'll probably just suck her up and use it, but, let's see, how up in my inventory, oh, and as you pick up more, you start to move slower, oh, and it is pr full loot, but I'm in a safe zone, so nobody can kill me anyway, unless I die to, like, a PVE monster. Ah, wait. Can I get that X from the founder's pen? I can figure out how to get my mail. Wait a minute. Oh shit! Oh, <laughs> the cannon coming. Can I build any of this? Whoa, can I really... Buildings must be placed on sandy... No, I can't place this. I probably have to go far out to build stuff. But I'm pretty sure you need silver to build stuff. That's why I'm playing it in the alpha. I want to figure things out. 
I mean, even for a top-down view, the game looks very nice. It's it's supposed to remind you of Ultima Online, but with you know a more modernized look. So I think I'm gonna list some of these items because people are probably looking to build things early. People are rushing. People might spend a lot of silver early because they're in a rush to dominate. I want to get ahead. Um, it's a bit unfortunate though. It might be because I'm streaming, but the performance in towns is kind of rough. Oh yeah, it's because I'm streaming. My CPU is at like full usage, so it's it's not the game. It's just my computer. Um, is there, I gotta find the auction house. Like there's supposed to be like local auction houses. Okay, this is a workbench. Okay, this is crafting a beginner's broadsword. So I don't have a weapon at all. So armor, leather. Oh, I have to kill stuff to make leather. Oh, and tools. Um. So if I build a big, if I build this, then that means I can get the trees that said they need a beginner's axe. So, wait, where does it say what it needs? I think I'm making one. Then I gotta equip it. I think. There. Okay, so I got that. Oh, I don't have enough rough stone to make a sword. Probably because I used it for the axe. It looks like everything's crafted, so you can't just buy out. Oh, less building, more killing? Yep. Well, I could just go, if you want, I can just go run out and <laughs> start killing people, but I don't have much of a weapon, so I'd have to equip my founder's equipment, and then I don't know how many people would actually be that far out, because people are probably get, trying to get stuff built, and I'd have to go into the red zone to actually stand a chance if I gank people. If I try to fight people in the yellow zone, then I will get wrecked. Because it gives them a buff if you attack them. Or, you know, I could just try to bait myself into getting attacked, but I'm playing solo, so... You have people in groups that will take advantage. I mean, at launch, I won't be playing solo. I'll have friends, and it'll be easier, but... Wow, I was gonna struggle on with this box. I wish I had a bow. But I'll probably need wood, um... I don't know what they would use for the, like, the... String, I forgot what you call it. So it's... More quests. Well, that's interesting, they're putting quests in. And supposedly you can only have one quest at a time, but... From what I can tell. I might be wrong, I'm kinda noob at this. Um, more people? Hmm. So it's a good way to make silver if you're starting out. You need silver for a lot of things in the game, which is kind of nice. Used to be, you can pretty much substitute gold for anything that takes silver, but I think they took that out. So that means that the only way to get silver with gold is that you have to sell it to other players, which is kind of nice, because it sort of... You know, it gives players a way to get gold without actually buying it. Which, in case you're new, um, gold is the, like, premium currency of the game, like the cash shop currency, though. I don't know if they'll have much of a cash shop, whereas, um, silver is the main currency that you get through play. Like, I know in most of MMOs it's gold, which, it can be a bit confusing if you, you're new. Right. Okay, I'm over here. This is still a safe zone. I don't know how far out I have to go. In fact, for anyone here, for whatever crazy reason, is experienced and can help me, I don't know how far I have to go out before it becomes PvP. But I should probably get some hides because I can use that to make a bow, I think, or something. Or 
Okay, rabbits are easy game, but like these foxes are hard. Oh shit! I don't know if I can fight this. Okay, what's this? Oh, what? Why am I fighting with an axe? I don't have a sword. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! No! 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 Please tell me this thing won't follow me everywhere. Oh no! Oh fuck! I'm gonna lose everything. I got all this wood. Do I? Wait, I don't know if I lose everything if I die in PVE. So, okay, so I guess there's a timer and you can get up if you die in somewhere that's not a PvP zone. Um, pretty sure you can't get up if you die in a safe zone. So, you know, this is a little bit to help you out if you're new. <clears throat> so I'm going to try the get up feature because I'm not in a PvP zone. Yeah, and then you basically have no health. Okay, so it looks like you don't actually drop your stuff if you die in a safe zone. But if I were further out in the world, um, if I can figure out how to zoom out. Oh, this is how I do it. Oh, okay. So yeah, this explains things better. So you see, the world is actually really big. Um, I, I don't know if these are uninhabitable at this point, but... How do I? I have to grab the case. But you see, there's like so many zones, and you just and it just goes on and on and on. And further out, it is PvP, so you have to be ready for it. And if you die in a PvP zone, people will steal everything. Okay, yeah, I definitely need to make myself a sword. Otherwise, I will not stand a chance. Or I can buy it from someone that crafted it. Okay, wait, oh, let's. Oh, fuck, I'm not gonna make the same mistake again. Get away, get away! Oh, I wish I knew how to sprint. Wait, wait. Okay. You can run, you can leave the zone running combat, but other people will follow you. Yeah. The biggest gripe about this game so far the zones are pretty small, and you support between them, which. They have a reason for that. Um, basically, it's so that they can have everyone on one huge server with you know lots of zones. So that way, because they can have like each like piece of hardware host a different zone, and it allows them to scale it a lot. So that's a very good reason to do it. Now, from what I can tell, what is really easy to come by? There are trees everywhere, but stone seems a bit complicated. It seems like it's contested. Anytime I come across stone, it's like already depleted. And this could be a potential bottleneck when you're starting out, especially when the game is new. I mean, you kind of have to look for the stone. Now you can cut trees all day long. I have, I have enough wood for now. I don't want to slow myself down here anymore. Wait, is this iron? Oh! Oh, I don't have a good pickaxe. I guess that's iron or something. Ugh, oh, everything's depleted. I might have to go further out if I want to find iron. I, or stone. I think I need a bit more stone and then I can make a sword. And then I can actually stand a chance and defend myself. Armor would help a lot too, so... Or I could just equip the Founder's Gear, but I'm not gonna cheap out like that. Cause not everyone will have that. Oh shit, can't fight that. So you can only, like, the tool you have equipped you have to fight with, so if you get caught in a fight while you're mining or something, you should, you know, you have to equip your weapon, so you have to be ready to just quickly hit that. Oh. I just wish they'd have more. Like, I get it's alpha, but in the future, they should probably add more direction to the game. So they, not like, well I know it's just, I don't mean like direction is and telling you what to do, but like the controls. 
Like, it's a sandbox. You do what you want. You make what you want of the world. But, like, in terms of control, it's, like, it's pretty easy to get lost. Even as someone that's been playing MMOs for over 10 years, it still is confusing. I guess that's something for close beta. I can add. It's just probably should get it before launch, or otherwise people get overwhelmed. Some people, not everyone. Whoa, whoa, what? Are they fighting? Oh, there are foxes. Okay. Oh, they're fighting each other. I can't craft that. So these are refining stations from the look of it. Used to make higher tier materials to craft higher tier weapons. So can I craft that? You don't have any spell slots, choose one spell for every slot. What? I'm trying to increase the number. I don't want to be a tank. Wait. Okay, these icons are kind of weird. So, the one that generates more threat, which sounds like it's more for tanking, if I understand correctly, doesn't have a shield, so it doesn't even like remind you of tanking, and the one that... Well, I guess that makes sense, it gives armor, and then... Chance to gain energy and heat as a sword and a shield, so I don't know. You know, I need... I want more armor, because these monsters are really strong, and... I think I'll two birds with one stone, I can get... A bit of armor with getting a sword, so... Whoa, wait! Did I actually crit crap? I said masterpiece plot. I mean, it's rank one, so it's like obviously not anything good. Okay, so now I have a sword. Let's see. I don't think I can get armor yet. Um. Okay, I need copper bars. That means that I need a pickaxe to mine the copper. I think I can craft it right here. Yeah, tools. Um. Oh no, I'm one stone short. Okay. Yeah, that means I gotta go out in the world and get more stone. Oh, and you don't have to continuously click. You can just hold your mouse. Make your toe go in this direction. Oh, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in chat. I'm watching it. Why am I cutting wood? I don't need more. Oh, okay, so this is the stone I need. And it looks like the resources regenerate over time before being depleted. Because it has one left, someone probably completely depleted it and it just regens. So that'll give me enough stone I need to make myself a pickaxe, which means I can mine iron. Now, the only thing I haven't been able to find is the auction house. There's, I think, supposed to be one in every town. And it's different than in other games. Um, in most MMOs, if there's an auction house, it's shared across the entire server, everyone that plays. Um, in Albion Online, it's not like that. Your resources are tied to a specific location. If you storm somewhere, you can't get them anywhere else. So, like, part of the risk is actually transporting it. So, if you put items on the auction house, it's only for that town. So, it's based heavily on demand within that town. 
Same with the bank. Like, I could put some of my wood in there because I feel like I have too much. I want to, you know, lower some weight. But if, you know, I go on a journey and I go far from here, I won't have that wood. So, you know, it kind of protects it if you die, but you have to actually be everywhere. And then repairing. I think that costs... Okay, wait, that is full durability. This probably doesn't. Oh, it uses materials, so, like... It keeps the market for materials. It's not just silver like in a lot of games. If you repair, it takes materials. Uh, what's this? Oh, wait. Can I really... Um... Stable, something with century. Um, maybe there is no auction vendor in this town. I always thought there was like a trader NPC. Oh, here's how you craft a bow. Whoa. Wait, is there no tier 1 bow? This is tier 2 right here. Hmm. Sorry there's not much PvP action yet, I'm just getting started. Oh yeah, and this is the sort of progression in Albion Online. It's this giant tree of skills that you unlock based on what you do. Um, you don't have to make any decision technically, like it's not like, oh, if I progress through here, that means I won't have enough skill points to go through here. Like, you could theoretically get everything. They just take a lot of time and a lot of grind. So it's really nice that you can sort of progress without having to decide. You can do multiple things, but if you want to be good, you got to specialize. Cool. Wait. So, this is for if you have housing, some kind of furniture, but I don't have a building built yet. I guess you can store up to 10,000 gold. Battle vault. Eh, I'll try that later, I don't know. I wish these icons told you what they were, besides what they imply. I'm actually really lost. Ah, I think she's minimizing it, so... Oh, Wait a minute. Can I get the snow while everyone's busy killing this fox? Thank you. Your troubles are appreciated. I wonder how the loot works, if it's the last hit, or if it's how much damage you do to it, like in most games, or like who hits it first. Very kind of a jerk thing to do. Oh wow, herbs. Cotton. Oh, I don't have a sickle for it. Alright, I guess I'm gonna go far out. I can find where the exit of this town is again. Here it is. I think it's time to go on a journey. Um, if I, I actually gotta figure out how I get my founder stuff. Oh, how did I not see these icons? I'm stupid as heck. Wait, is this a player house or is this? I doubt it's a player house. Alright, once I take these, I can lose them. So, that's something you gotta consider. Be careful. Now, how do I call my mount? I don't see it in my inventory. 
Did I claim it? Right, warning, just looking under. Yep. Okay. I think I'll take the horse, but I'll leave the axe. So now that I took the horse. Now, how do I call it out? Oh, you press A. Oh, okay, that's how you board your horse. Oh, okay, and then I'm a bit faster. So people can kill this once I get into a PvP zone. You know what? If I'm gonna take my horse, I might as well take my um, equipment as well. Cause I gotta be able to defend myself, otherwise I'll get back to the other people with the equipment cause right now, everyone in the alpha right now has this because it's a start unless they were like chicken like me or just didn't feel like using it okay so you can't gather while mounted that's depleted and I don't have a good enough skinning knife so I can't even get the hide from the stuff that I kill. So it's like, you gotta craft a lot of gathering materials if you want to actually get things. Now, if I can get into a red zone, I can see if I can kill people, because I'm sure there's other people that decided to go on a journey and try to claim land or something, and I can see what it costs. I think this is the quickest way, I just gotta be careful. Wait, hold on. I think I can fight these now that I have my Founder's equipment. Wow. This could be famous last words though. A channel selfie or go down 30 seconds, that might be useful. This is a lot easier with the Founder gear. So the combat is not very exciting, I'm literally not doing anything. Um, there are skills, but they're not really that... It's not really intensive. You'd if you're, if you're looking for a game for combat, this isn't the game, but there's a lot of other really cool things. It's, a, it's, it's very basic combat, and I doubt they'll change it because it's just not what the game is about. It's not intended for intense action combat or whatnot. But yeah, the... Founder's gear is really useful, but you can lose it so easily, and there is better gear than the Founder's gear. It's not the best. It's nowhere near the best, not even close. But it does give you a really good start, from what I can tell. I could not kill these things without gear. Like I was getting wrecked, and then I put this stuff on, and it was easy. So it's A to board your mounts, in case you're wondering. I'm trying to find if I can get to a PvP zone. I don't really know where I am. Hmm. I'm still in a safe zone, so maybe I gotta look at the globe. I am right here. I started... Where did I start? Right? So th I think this wall means something. This might be... This looks like a danger zone. I'm gonna trust that it is, and I'm gonna head over there. Probably regret it, but you know, it's alpha. I get this stuff back if I lose it. It's just, I'm gonna be miserable for four weeks without it. Oh, I hope this doesn't dismount me. Oh, I'm faster. I just gotta keep moving. And like most MMOs, this looks like these things actually do heavy leash range before they reset. That's what I get for not sticking to the trail though. Now I wait a minute. Oh no. Stand. Okay, so I have to take the trail. Looks like this biome in particular. 
Either stick to the trail or you're not getting anywhere. Just hoping to take a shortcut. Why do I get the feeling it's our player houses? I legit can't tell. I legit. Well, I'll know once I'm more experienced with the game. These are probably like NPC houses. Red equals PvP zone. I'm not sure what these little horn icons are. Maybe like a tough boss or something. A Hellgate, maybe? I don't know. I'm too weak to do those. And as you go further in, there's also more dangerous monsters. So you want to get better gear. Oh! So it even warns you when you're going into a PvP zone. Oh, no, I said I'd do it. And I'm probably going to regret it. So this is PvP limited. It's not a full PvP zone, so if I get attacked, I should still probably, hopefully, unless I'm horribly bad, be able to win. As long as I don't initiate it myself. Okay, I don't want to get any more. I'll be way too slow. Um, I just gotta figure out where I can find a city. Um, I wish they kinda kept the globe and the local map. Like this one, it gets pretty confusing. So, where am I? Uh, I am right here. Um, did my quest tell me? Oh, tell me I go to Glimmerdale. What? Dale? Where is Glimmerdale? Do I start? Okay, so this is a okay. You can sort of tell if it's a PvP zone. So basically, you have stuff that looks like this. You know, just kind of gray. There's no like swords or skulls or anything. These are safe zones. Looks like anything on this side of the fence is a safe zone. So. You actually have quite a lot of safe zones to play in if you're really not much of a PvPer. Now, I don't know why you'd play this game if you're not a PvPer, but there's plenty of safe zones. Now, these don't have the strongest materials. Then it looks like once you cross the Spence thing, then you start getting into PvP. Um, PvP Limited to start out. But then, you know, once you get past the surface, go in deeper, it's all full PvP. And that's where it gets really frightening. In fact, I really shouldn't be looking on the map in the middle of a PvP zone. <laughs> it's a good way to die. Now, oh, I remember what I was looking on the map in the first place. I gotta find a city. How do I even know what a sit? Where's the city? And like, okay, so oh, okay, you can kind of tell. Sort of. Just the way the map looks, I guess. I'll figure it out. I'll just keep going. Wait. Oh, wait. Dale and Tezia? All right. Where, where did I find that? So I'm in Tranquil Grove. And all that land is for land. Or for sale. That's over here. Okay, this is a city. Um, what else is a city? Yeah, there's still land for sale, but you need a lot of silver. Um, and you can't just buy your way into that. That's the thing I love. I mean, I'll tell you this, though. If you're a free-to-play player and you're looking to get a lot of gold early on, like, playing day one is the way to make it. Because what you can do is so many people will want silver because they will want this land. They will want to rush it. I mean, because, look, there's all these plots for sale for... You know, pretty decent sum of silver, so I mean, they need it. And then, you know, you make your silver, you get by making silver early on, you 
sell the materials you gather, you... I think you get silver for killing mobs, and like, you build up that silver and people will want to buy it, for, exchange it for gold essentially, so the rates are going to be ridiculous early on, in fact, in fact it doesn't even look like there is a not enough silver on the market <laughs> see no one's selling silver I mean everyone has 12,000 gold to start out so like who wants to buy more especially because I'm pretty sure you don't get to keep it after the alpha yeah but it'll be different at launch I, I would, de assuming they don't take this out, I would definitely, like, get to this early on if you aren't trying to rush land, because it will help, it'll, you can probably get several months worth of premium status just by building up your gold on day one. So it costs money to make a guild, too. Oh shoot. Okay, oh, this guy looks peaceful. Oh, that guy scared me so much. I thought he was gonna kill me. But, we're peaceful. And I'm not gonna kill him in a PvP limited zone. Now, if this was a full PvP zone, you know, I'd probably YOLO it and die. But, it'd be, it'd, be, it'd be fun. But, they get a buff when you gank them in this kind of zone, so. They could just turn and kill you. Wait a minute. Are these plots for sale? They're like some kind of square. Or is it a building zone? I gotta get over there and find out what this is all about. Okay. What does this mean? Can I, I don't think I can build here. No, I can't. Don't know what this is about. Oh well. I really have no clue. Hmm. I think the server is hosted in Europe right now. Because I'm getting over a hundred ping. Either that, or it could just be the hype of Alpha. And I know the developer studios from Germany. Out of, they're operating out of Berlin. But for a game like this, it doesn't really matter unless it's really high. The delay is not going to get me killed. Especially because at least movement is responsive. Oh yeah, I forgot. People have no reason to buy gold in the first place in this alpha because it used to be that you could substitute gold for silver, but I don't even think you can do anything with gold in this alpha. I mean, I might be mistaken, but there's no premium status yet because it's just an alpha so I don't even think there's a value for gold I don't even know if they'll get to test this if no one wants gold it's not like, because it doesn't follow you to future if it did follow you to the future the prices on it would be outrageous oh this is full pvp right here uh, this is the real stuff. You, you gotta be careful. And holy sh! Tier six. This thing will wreck me so hard. I probably would lose my stuff if I died to it. Okay. So where am I now on the map? Oh, there's 
What? They make it really hard to find where you are. Oh, shoot. I just saw. I am right here. Wait a minute. So... I think another thing they should do is they should, like, put in text what zone this sign, like, each part of the map brings you to. It just helps you so much with knowing where the heck you're going. I mean, cause, like, this, the map is so big, you never even know with experienced players. Holy shit! Wow! Holy shit, these things are strong. I am so dead. Oh my god. I need way better gear. Like, these things hurt. Okay. I'm not getting past that bridge. I don't know if there's another way around. I want to get to that town. I'd have to fight my way through and maybe get a group of people. So, when the game launches, um, I cannot get past that. So, I would need to get better gear. I would need to get a group. I mean, I'd have to like, fight our way through to claim land. So, I wonder if there's any land you can claim that's not in a PvP zone, so... So, like I said earlier, anything on this side of the fence is a safe zone. Um, so, like, offshore islands. Territory is not claimed. Can I not zoom in? Oh, okay, I guess it's a territory. There's a claimable territory, so that's not somewhere you actually buy the land. There's different kinds of... Okay. Oh, these are all for sale. This is a safe zone. That's probably something I can get. And it looks like the cheapest lots are probably small ones that go for about 7,000 silver, which... a lot of silver to work for. Now I gotta get, figure out how do I get back to where I came from, because... I can't do anything out here, because... My gear's not good enough to fight the mobs. I'm risking getting myself killed, and I can't even gather a lot of the higher tier materials that spawn out here. I mean, I could cut trees all day, but honestly, I don't see trees being very valuable because they're so easy to come by. They're just a little bit time consuming. So then again, you know, you do use trees for a lot of things, like. Wait, do these really not have crafting pots? I'll figure it out. So, have I earned any progression here? Actually, I'm gonna get out of this PvP zone, and then I'll look at that, because I don't want to get ganked when I'm looking at a UI. I have my Explore stuff out right now. So the only thing that's safe when you die is the stuff you have in your bank, bank storage, um, your gold, which is the cash up currency, and your silver, and of course, you know the progression you made on your character, the this mastery, whatever they call it. Wait, that's why I was looking at the map. I wanted to... Yeah, I'm right here. Oh, it's a long way out of here. Oh, I know. I'll go to Queen's Market. So if I keep going this way, I'll get out of the PvP zone. I should probably join a guild. So, when the game comes out, I want to make my own. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if there's no guilds out there right now, because it costs money to make one, and silver's so scarce. But, this game did have a winter alpha, and I didn't play on it, so I don't know the secrets of making silver yet. I, I think quests are a good start, if you can figure them out. I don't know what happened to the one quest I had. Oh, it's still there. Like, Grimsdale. Where the earth is Grimsdale? I got it, like, back on the starting zone, which I don't remember which... Oh, Glimmerdale, okay. Oh, I started right here. Somehow I managed to get all the way 
over somewhere over here, um, right here, ish, and then the world spans pretty far. It's pretty big, um, and hopefully with each test it gets bigger. Honestly, I hope they don't rush the launch of this game because it might seem big now, but considering they're only planning on having one server for like all the regions, it can it won't seem like much if this game really kicks off. And I'm almost to that town, so I can see if anyone actually will buy out the land. And once I get to the, I think the eastern landing, the nuke spot that I started out with, that's not really a formal town. It's more just a beginning hub. Oh, same with Easterly Cross, the nuke town. So that's where I was. And I think I came to like somewhere around here and it told me go to Grimsdale, go to Grimsdale or something like that. Which oh shit, where was it again? Oh, it's over here, so I w it was not far. Of course, no one wants to sell gold because there's no damn use for it. No one wants to sell silver. No use for the gold in the current state of the game. I wish I had like a sprint skill on this horse. I just feel so slow. Man, this is both something that's good about the game and bad about the game. It depends how you look at it. Um, just how long it takes to travel places. There's no fast travel, which there's a very good reason for that. Like, it kind of gives you a sense of, I'm in the world, I have to travel to get places. But at the same time, it's like, if you want to go from, like, here all the way over here, or even worse, like, somewhere over here, it's gonna take forever and you know it can be pretty mind numbing so maybe the life fast travel or maybe there is someone I'm just not familiar with it but actually I think there might be a boat or something you can take so I might be wrong so you know fast travel comes at a cost in games it, it's convenient for the players they don't have to run everywhere but at the same time, it just kills the sense of the game. I do wish there was auto pathing though. Maybe there is. Once again, I'm too stupid to figure out how to do it. When I mean, you can auto path to, like somewhere on screen, but I don't think you can auto path on the map. Oh, that's what they call it, the destiny board. That's what this thing is. So, I'm getting into that one city, and I can see what a real city looks like. Not the little noob starting zone. Oh, shit. Are these guards? Okay, now they're peaceful. Okay. Scaring me. I didn't know if it was like those other monsters I ran into that were killing me. Oh, there is fast travel. I mean, I don't know if you just sit in a carriage and go AFK or if it legit is a... So I can go to Tormouth, which is... Oh. 
Okay, there is fast travel, but it's like cool fast travel. It's it might not even be fast travel. I don't want to waste my silver though. So you can get your own private island for a decent amount of silver. You can get a guild island if you have a guild, and there's no other islands available. So that's another thing you can do with silver. You can do a lot of things with silver. I really kind of like what they changed with the gold and silver though. You can't just buy everything with gold right away. You actually have to work to grab the land, which... This is where all the player markets are, so... It's for sale. So this is what you'd have to pay for it. There's like a down payment of 40,000 silver. And it looks like it's just for the slot. 400 meters total. Probably square. It's like 20 by 20. You have to pay essentially 5,100 silver every day. So it's, 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 a, it's a bit of work. You really gotta actively play the game and get that silver. So if you want land, you better play. Now there is cheaper land, like this is a smaller lot that we're looking at. This is only... Wait a minute, this is the same size. Why are they different prices? I don't know. It's alpha. But yeah, you see, there's 40,000 land, there's 30,000, there's cheaper elsewhere. Like, this one's only 23,000, and the upkeep went from like 5,000 to 3,000. I mean, upkeep and tax combined. And then, like, if you go all the way out here, it looks like these are cheaper, which I think it might be priced according to just demand. Like, because, not demand, but like, certain spots are more valuable. Like, if you're talking like, right, you know, by the main street, people are more likely to find that spot than just deep in the town shopping center, so. It's about 2,000. So you see, this is like a third as cheap as some of the other land that you can get. And, you know, this, this is pretty affordable. Now, I'm telling you, players are probably going to buy these really quickly. Um... Uh, these are probably going to be the first to go. Simply because they're cheap and most people get their silver, they're going to want their plant. So I can't afford this. I need over 7,000 silver and I don't know how to get it, so... I don't think I can... I'm not actually strong enough to... So I gotta go kill stuff. Wait, I wonder if this gives me silver. So I have no silver. And pretty much nobody's in this town, so... There's not really a market established here yet, because the game... The alpha's only been up for... Less than an hour. I wonder if I can craft potions. I should be able to win this fight. Closer than I hope, though. Oh, I can't even skin the thing! Ugh. I ain't got silver for killing it, so... I don't know if I might get silver besides quests. Hmm. So, from the looks of things, there's, like, no crafting stations in any of the towns besides the starter town. Like, here I am in a safe town, um... Where the heck am I? Okay, I am somewhere over here. I'm right here. Um, so I'm not even that far out. The starting spot's just over here. And, like, if you're over here, there's, like, no, like, crafting stands. There's no repair stations. But that's kind of what the land for sale is. You can open your own. So, and you can decide what you want to charge. So if players come, they can decide, oh, well, I can charge a lot because I am the only repair station here. I, I'm the first to buy it. You know, I rush the silver and 
players will use it because if they don't want to pay that much, that means they have to run all the way back to Easterly Cross where the actual like default ones are. Friendly eight. What is this? Oh, because I'm gonna. But yeah, it looks like the cheapest you can get is 7,000 silver and about 1,000 a week of upkeep, which isn't too bad. Or a day, not a week. But it does look like if you want to own land, you got to be a very active player. Doesn't look cheap, which I guess is right. Land in cities anyway, if you're not... Like, I think if you're casual, you can ape your private island really easily. Um, there really aren't that many cities, though. Like, you're looking at... Let me see if I can count the cities real quick without taking too long. Not count all of them, but, like, you're looking at... In safe zones, there's one... Um... This is really hard to navigate. They need to be able to zoom out more. Maybe you can, and I'm just dumb, but... Two, three, four. So it looks like in this like safe area, there's five towns. Then you get into danger zone, and uh, I can't count. There's really not that many. So you're still only looking about like maybe probably less than a thousand actual things you can buy out. So. I mean, if this game were to get to the scale that Arcage was, it could be pretty problematic. Um, Arcage had thousands of plots of land, and it was still absolutely terrible in terms of trying to find one. You could not find land, so they'd have to address this in later alphas, you know, come out with more clusters. Um... But at the same time, if the game, if the world itself gets too big, eh, no, you can't, you can't get too big. As long as their servers can handle it. But my point is, it might work great now in the alpha when there's not many people, because you have to pay fifty dollars to get in, a hundred to get in right now. This part of the alpha. But like, as it gets bigger. They might start seeing issues, especially at launch. Like, that'll be the worst part. You have the launch height. Right, I'm gonna go do some combat or something. I gotta do something exciting, because I showed you guys the land. I showed you guys the PvP zones. I better get something built. Um, I actually need to craft myself a harvesting... No, not harvesting. What's it called? Okay, I can't, I can't get that. I need to get a pickaxe as well, but I really need a skinning thing, because otherwise I'll never get a better weapon. What's this? That's probably something I can't even gather. I don't know why I'm not stuck into the road. It's a pretty big mistake, I think. These are always depleted. This is probably depleted too. Oh, I don't have a ham. Oh, stone. I've been needing stone. I think I have plenty now though. Wait, delivery blueprints? I don't know if I Oh wait, I think it's for a quest. So I'm not really familiar with any ways to make silver besides selling things to other players and quests. And I'm not really sure how to trade. Oh, okay, so you just right click someone and trade. But beyond that, I thought there was supposed to be an auction house in each town. Maybe the players have to build one. Let me check out Glimmerdale. Maybe there's something in there. The place I was supposed to go to. No. 
It's like a, it's just a normal zone. It's not like a town or anything. Yeah, but in case anyone just got here and wondering what I'm doing, I'm heading back to town to craft a, a skinning knife and a pickaxe because I kind of just ran out as far as I could until the monsters got way too strong to overcome. And then I turned back. But there are a lot of quests, so that's probably how you get your silver. I thought you got silver from mobs, but I haven't been getting any. Maybe only the stronger mobs. I really need to fix this. It's so hard to find where you are when you open the map. Okay, Red Dread's Pit. Uh, I guess that does help. You can see the name of my slime right here. But the arrow is so subtle. So, And then it doesn't show you where you're going if you go to like the corner of the map that brings you into a new part. So you kind of just have, and it doesn't always line up perfectly either. <sighs> oh, I can't cut through here. Whoa. What? What? No, oh, I want to... Uh, I hope I get loose for this. You hit me first. Damn, I don't get anything. Oh. oh. Oh shit. Oh god. What the? These things... There's too many of them. I don't think I can fight them. Thank you, person. Save me. Wait a minute. Okay, so the explorer's equipment's just armor, not a weapon. So what have we learned so far? What is really easy to come by? You can't go far without gear. Otherwise the mobs will wreck you. Um, land is expensive. At least it feels expensive. I'm I'm over here. I don't want to get. Okay, I know where I'm going. Now, where am I supposed to go for this quest? Oh wait, down there. The... I just want to join a guild so people can help me out. Uh, I'm not going to join Banished Conflict. Join the Zerg Guild. That's what they look like to me. Oh shit, guild tags? What? Lame. Why am I joining? What the hell did they get out of a guild tax? Oh well. It's Alpha. We'll deal with attacks to help learn the ropes. Oh, I can't even type. Maybe I can figure things out for you now. I know more than most of these people. Wait, 
An actual real question. How do I get silver fast? I need to know this. No one wants to give out their secrets. Who am I even calling? Oh, that's where I have to go for my quest. So you get fame, you get silver. Okay. Delivery? This sounds boring. So this seems like the best way to make silver early on is to do quests. I can't equip this stuff even if I do get it. So I actually have silver now. So I'm gonna go this way. I can craft. So when you're first starting out, what you want to do is you want to gather materials to get yourself the basic crafting tools so you can gather stuff along the way and then you want to do the quest to get yourself some silver. From there, it depends really what your goals are. Um, if you want to get land, you want to save your silver and you know claim it before someone else does. Start saving more silver so you can pay your taxes. Um, if you're Free to player that's looking to get ahead economically, I would like at launch, I would stock up on gold because it's gonna just go up in open price. It happens in every game with the cash up currency. They should be next to banks. Oh, what? I've been to banks. So apparently, the auction houses are right next to banks, and I just missed them horribly. It's kind of hard to see things when there's a million players in towns. I can't imagine how bad this will be at launch. Ugh. I'll probably crash, so... Should be near here. Wish I could see what I'm doing. So, right, this is the bank. <gasps> there it is! Okay. I wonder if people are actually buying this stuff. Category. Let's see if I can sell some of this wood. Oh, dump products. Like, where are they? What would they be called? Resources, yeah. People are selling leather. I don't want any of this. Honestly, would be pretty surprised if people buy wood, but you know, maybe some of just want to straight up buy it. Now, how do I sell stuff? Oh, I didn't see this tab. Oh, show buy orders. Oh, there's literally no buy orders. Okay. Currently, no one's buying. Whatever. Create sell order. There's not a fee for listing it. Asking price. Make it cheap. Oh, it costs money to set it up, too.
Why does the duration matter? Like, attacks just don't have a difference based on duration. Might as well set it up for a month and hope someone buys it. Wait, what? Asking price of two, I put in nineteen. And saying total of zero? What? Oh. Okay, I guess it didn't get it. Now let's hope it actually sells. Alright. Now I crap. Why the hell did I just put that up? I need that shit. I am dumb. Oh my god. How do I cancel? I am beyond stupid. Oh, that's wasted two silver. Hey, as you can see, I'm quite smart. I don't know how they're going to get by without selling early access when the game itself launches. I mean. If an alpha test has this many players and like it's just this laggy, I can't imagine what it would be like at launch. Ten times as many players. I already have a sword. What do I want? Wait a minute, that was what I needed over there. I needed tools. Mark them. Um, skinning knife. Wait. Wait, for real? This is tier two? Shoot. Um, then I'll get. I thought I had a pickaxe. Wait, I cancelled my order and it didn't give it back to me? Does it come in the mail? Where does it go? Does it just disappear when you cancel your order? Where do I. Oh. Okay, that's, that's good to know. Mm hmm. Just like in most games. Oh, wait, I need beginner skinning at, not novice. <sighs> Can't do this while mounted. Can't do anything while mounted. Do these have any, like, where's it say what resource, oh, okay. So I have a skinning knife, I have a pickaxe, or just an axe. I need a pickaxe. Pretty easy to craft these. And they're not really too heavy. But it adds up, really. You want to craft everything. Because I think this is actually the weight limit. 43 down to 40, so I'm slower. I guess now I'll sell my stuff and hope it doesn't. You know, I'll sell them at one apiece. Because honestly, silver is so scarce right now. People are cheap. I don't even know if people want tier 1 mats because they're so easy to come by and there's like no risk in making them. Wait! Oh.
I think we can actually make money crafting that. Get our work orders. Usage fee. So there's no fee to craft two, two or below. So doing these work orders, work orders, well, they're also a way to make money to get the materials. So that's one way of injecting money into the economy besides quests. And you can probably just craft them and salvage them. Pay power, get all the mats back. Or maybe it takes them from you when you turn it in. Now, I could do the work orders if I actually had two T mats, which I don't know where I go. Yeah, there's 151 people in this town. I wonder what's so laggy. Well, back to hunting. Travel to Slimy Cove Cave. I should have told me where I had to go. Here's Slimy Cave. I don't even know if it's a zone, if it's a dungeon or what. Let's go in this direction. It looks like it's a lot of potential though. No, I think they changed it so you don't need to pick up silver when things sell, so... I kinda know if those things sell. Wait. How did I not get this bonus? I thought I did that. I should have the Novus Adventure achievement. I crafted... A beginner's pickaxe. This is not of sense. I've crafted like all of these things. Oh, I, I could skin rabbits now because I have that thing. Where's Underhaul? Oh, that's not far. I'll take on that one. Some of these are just delivery quests. Very simple, easy money. And you can only do one mission at a time. So, I don't know, from the looks of it, these are kind of repeatable, or they vary or something. So, I don't know if these are like one time quests, like most games, or if you can do all of them, so I mean, it seems like a very good source of silver. Oh, I'm in a hall. Okay, so I take this over here. Turn 
right in. Complete. You get fame and you get some. I want to zoom down. Royal. Something. Or else you will You probably use the device to. Yeah, a lot of these are just delivery quests. So you run around, and I don't think there's auto pathing. I I don't know if they should add it or not. Wait, four thousand and sixty-four left. Wait, is that so? Like, apparently, maybe the NPCs only have a certain amount of silver. Yeah, I think I think that's how it is. I'm not sure, but that's what it looks like. Maybe like a certain NPCs like you try to spam their quests a lot, then people stop doing it. So that's like a lot of grind before you actually get to the PvP, which it'll get more exciting later. Okay. That's the only thing you might not like about this game. It starts out a bit grindy to get started. You gotta get your silver to get your gear, you gotta get your materials, but then... Once you get going, that's when the real fun happens. But, you know, it's kinda nice. It gives you the feeling like it's a race to get going. What? I thought I had a quest to deliver something here. Did I have to pick up the crates? Novus Tyler. Oh, okay, here they are. So yeah, it looks like a lot of grind to get the server you need to own lands. And lots of running back and forth. Like, I'm gonna go see if there's auto pathing. There's no auto one. Oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> I mean, I guess it's like doing trade runs in our gauge. Just even more dull and mind numbing. But this definitely seems like the way to get started. Ah, it's just some cheap finished gear. You can get Nova stuff for like five silver.
I created the battle vault. I don't know how that works. I have to figure out how I can get tier 2 gathering now. I think I would need to find copper ore to get to the novice pickaxe. I mean... I'm not sure if this is bugged or if I just don't know what the hell I'm doing. So I'm pretty sure I did what it told me to do. So lots of running back and forth quests um, you can do. And that, that gets to the server to get started. And it's not that much, but you know, maybe if you go into, say, like somewhere dangerous like here, the rewards are probably much higher. You see, there's quests like even in Traderfell, which is a full PvP zone. And this is like all the way up to tier 6, the highest tier being 8, that's not in that zone, but like you go into, like, this place looks dangerous, um, actually no, it's not even the most dangerous, um, I'm trying to find somewhere that would be like really high tier. Maybe they don't have tier 8 yet in the alpha, or maybe I just don't know where to look. Oh well, yeah, but the point is, it's probably higher rewards where it's more dangerous because you can get looted. I don't think I'm going to do much more of the back and forth trading because it's an alpha and I don't get to keep my, what I make anyway, so. Now that I got the hang of that, I'm probably going to... Hmm... See if I can get higher tier. Stock. I'm gonna restart this stream real quick, I wanna troubleshoot something.